Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're playing with fire. So let's take a look at the test we're gonna try today. I've got a half inch bolt that's a grade eight. I've got my homemade heat treating forge here. We have our load cell set up. I've got my blow torch and I've got the STR wrench. We're gonna manually break some bolts in different conditions and see how the heat affects their strength. All right, let's get started. All right, so for our test setup here, we've got our bolt through a steel plate. And I've got the compression load cell. This is measuring compression force, as you can see on the screen right here. I can put 163 pounds. This bolt's gonna generate 20,000 pounds. All right, let's do a manual failure test and see how high the clamp load and the torque can get. Go, boss nice. <laughs> All right, we hit 160 foot pounds, 22,000 pounds clamping force. So now that we have our baseline results, we can compare different heat treatment characteristics to the strength of our baseline. So the first one we're gonna do is called annealing. We're gonna heat this bolt up in my homemade forge here to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're gonna let it air cool. This should soften the material. It'll make it much softer than the grade eight that it started as. I expect the torque to be much lower to break it and the clamping force to be much lower too. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're gonna let this guy cool. All right, here we go with the annealed bolt. We lubricated the threads because I don't wanna unlubricate the ones that have been quenched. So we'll lubricate all of them equally. Oh, there we go. 110 foot pounds. All right, so we quench this bolt, which should make it stronger. So the strength should be higher, but it might break more easily. That's actually a property called brittleness. So we don't really want that property in a bolt. So we're gonna see if it breaks real suddenly, that means we strengthened it, but we made it too strong and it's gonna be brittle like glass. Let's see what happens. Well, we ran out of wrench. <laughs> we made it stronger. <laughs> guys, it is the next day. We ran out of torque wrench. We hit 185 foot pounds with this wrench. We broke for the day to get something bigger, which we found one of these to use. And we found something really crazy. On the floor was our broken bolt. We left 21,000 pounds of tension force on this bolt. But remember we talked about this being brittle? It was brittle. And overnight, this thing snapped in half and left the pieces of the bolt on the ground. I'm gonna have to drill this out so we can reuse this for our next test, but that's a pretty crazy result. Really shows how brittle we can make things if we don't properly heat treat them. We got our quenched and tempered bolt in. This thing went into the toaster oven for two hours at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Hopefully we've increased the toughness so it isn't so brittle. We're gonna use the big power tool, put some torque on it and see what it takes to break it. Here we go. Oh. 
32,000 pounds. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> So if we take a look at some traces in our data summary, we can see we really influenced the strength of the bolt. The grade eight bolt goes up to about 130 foot pounds. It hits that yield point where the curve starts to break over and then just turns and turns and turns without building up too much torque and then eventually breaks. Our annealed bolt, we can see we've definitely hurt the strength of the bolt. It yields at a much lower torque and the force generated is much lower as well. Now our quenched bolt, got up to an even higher torque, but it was so unstable that it broke and we couldn't actually get much stretch past the yield point at all on this fastener. And then our final bolt, the quenched and tempered, we took it all the way up to 270 foot pounds and generated a huge amount of clamping force. I don't think the results of quenching and tempering bolts are gonna be very consistent, but you can see the influence that heat has on the strength of fasteners. All right, so there you have it. We got our baseline bolt, grade eight bolt out of the box, had really good performance. And you can see the difference that different heat treating methods affect the strength of the material. And I think you can get a picture of the science behind what's actually happening and the engineering that goes on behind every bolt that you interact with every day. Let's talk about what's really happening on a molecular level without getting too complicated, how steel gets strengthened. If you were to look at the molecules like they were tennis balls in a big box, they're actually different size balls, maybe tennis balls and golf balls in the same box. What heat treating does is it allows those molecules to realign and this quenching locks it in place so that it's in an orientation where those molecules can no longer easily slide against each other. That's what's giving the material its strength. So now you can see the science and the engineering behind some of the most simple things that we deal with every day. And it's pretty cool when you can actually set this up and do some real experiments and figure it out for yourself. All right, we'll see you next time.